Okay, yes, let's talk about charging for spiritual services. Here's the way that I'm offering for you to look at this. The amount of time, focus, intention, energy, and probably money that it has taken for you to become the frequency and value of a human being that is able to be the container in which you're able to hold space for other people's healing and remembrance, that needs to be valued. There needs to be an exchange. And where we are currently living, what we all agreed for the game that we were willing to play for now is that money is typically the way that exchange happens. Now you can exchange for services. Maybe you have, I don't know, a healer friend that wants coaching. So you can exchange for, for services. You can exchange for chickens or groceries. It doesn't matter, but there needs to be an energetic equal value exchange for your offering. Now, the price point that you use, I can't get into that conversation. The market, the currency, where you live, all of those things are factors. But what I will say is price yourself reasonably at a price that is an energetic call for the type of people that you want to work with. Now, I don't mean the type of people socioeconomically. I don't mean the type of people that based on how awake they are or how long they have been on the journey. Those pieces are irrelevant. It's the deeper conversation that you are having with the universe and your future market that says, the people that I want to work with have to feel as though they have some skin in the game. They want to work at themselves. They want to invest in themselves and they are taking their own healing and evolution seriously. So whatever that number looks like, that's sort of a couple of different criteria you can use. The last piece that I wanted to offer is there are no sales, no discounts, no freebies, no specials. Because again, you are building and offering your quantum container as an emanation of the frequency of light that you have embodied, that is what you're actually offering. So that can't be discounted on sale on a certain day. Like that can't happen that way. So, and the other side to that coin is, is the person that pays perhaps full price for something last week to have a session with you, their integrity and honor needs to be honored fully by you not offering a different price to someone else the following week. So there needs to be integrity held in your field for that.